Previously on Sally Cat Plays. What? A talking sword? What are you? Yes, the buttons! They're running! Please, help us! Hello friends and adventurers, and welcome back to Sally Cat Plays Dust in Elysian Tale. And today, welcome to Aurora Village. You may notice a few differences in image quality or stuff going on screen here. I've actually gone over to the dark side. Instead of playing this on my main recording computer, I am now playing Dust in Elysian Tale on our shiny new gaming PC. And thus I can have things like better animations, weather effects, without slowing my processor to a crawl. Also, I've leveled up recently and I need to assign a skill gem. Shall I go for more health, more attack? And sometimes I forget exactly which control does what on this menu screen. I'm going to upgrade Fidget. So we have liberated the outskirts from the horrible stone giant things. Hold it right there. And now we get to meet the town guards. Are they gone? I don't hear anything. If you're referring to the giants, I took care of them. They're dead? Yep. Thoroughly expired. They were no match for us. There's an older couple back there that could use some help, though. Well, that must have been Oneida and her husband, Gian. Thank you. Uh, we'll send help right away. So you're saying you just happened to show up at the right time, huh? I suppose. Interesting coincidence. If you're suggesting I had something to do with this attack... Whoa, whoa, take it easy. I, I have to apologize for my big friend, Galem, here. We're just a little overwhelmed, is all. What's been happening here? I guess you missed the endless hordes of bloodthirsty monsters on your way in? They used to stay in the mountains, away from the village. Now, they're attacking us on a daily basis. No one's been hurt yet. Uh, at least not until today. If giants are showing up near Oneida's farm, things are far worse than we thought. Speaking of which, where exactly do you come from? There's nothing west of here except crazy old Korra. We're, uh... Prospectors! <laughs> we are prospectors! And we're out on an excavation to find, uh, ore deposits in the mountains! You know, gold, silver, um, manganite? Good quick thinking there, Fidget. Prospectors, eh? <laughs> You're certainly well armed for the job. Of course we are. There's monsters about, haven't you noticed? Like you said, there are a lot of monsters out there. Exactly. <sighs> well, we're indebted to you either way, so go on through. But I'm watching the two of you. Please, make yourselves at home. Uh, my name is Bean. There's not much here, but we do have a merchant if you need supplies. Thank you. We'll be on our way then. Thanks so much for your help. Please, make yourselves at home. How are you two holding up? Don't worry about us. I'm in no rush to take on a giant, but I think we're in the clear. That's an interesting outfit you're wearing. Oh, you're one to talk. Can your friend even see from under that hat? <laughs> Good question, actually. He can see everything. It's spooky, really. No reason to get defensive, just trying to help. He. Prospectors, Fidgets, that was the best thing you could come up with? It was the first thing that popped into my head. It's not like you had anything better. Come 
Come, let's get away from these guards. All right, Ara. Where to now? You're right where you need to be. The answers to your identity lie somewhere in this village. I know this place, and that's for certain. I'm sure I've been here before, but nobody seems to recognize me. And you, in turn, do not recognize them. Yet I feel there is something here that may yet trigger your memory's return. Maybe we should look around for a bit then? If you really have been here before, maybe somebody will recognize you. That is a good idea, Fidget. Let us meet with the townspeople. I am certain that the next step of your journey will reveal itself in time. Very well. But something... something here is making me uneasy. Like the calm before a storm. So, yep, we're in town. Our mission is talking to all the villagers. Today's episode is going to be very light on the combat and heavy on the uh, characters talking. Which means that I might have a bit less to do today. Ooh, quest giver. Characters with a feather over their head are quest givers. Speak to them to open up quests and new regions throughout the world. Why, hello there. I'm always thrilled to see a new face, even when it's all covered up like yours. Indeed. Well, my name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Hiya. Don't mind Mr. Grumpy. He's not big on the whole eye contact thing. Fidget and Dust, eh? Not from around here, are you? Well, neither was I originally. But this is a nice little place, if you're not in a hurry. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Augustine, local strongman. Say, you want to arm wrestle? <laughs> uh, some other time, perhaps. We're just passing through. Oh, that's a shame. Thought you looked like the arm wrestling type. You know, I heard what you did back there for Oneida. Great stuff. Maybe we can help each other out? Maybe. What did you have in mind? I have an old friend, a blacksmith, lives way up at the top of Archer's Pass. I promised I'd deliver some materials to him way back when, but haven't been up that way in ages. Area's pretty dangerous these days, if you ask me. Maybe you could deliver them for me? Tell you what, if you help me out, I'll give you this blueprint. If you give it to him along with these spare materials, he'll set you on your way right quick. A blacksmith that can craft items from blueprints? I think I'll take you up on that, Augustine. Yay, crafting! Wow, that's great! I knew I could count on you! When you see him, just tell him that old Augustine says hello. I'll be honest, there ain't a whole lot here. But you'll find a shop near the east entrance. Thanks, Augustine. Maybe we'll drop by. So that's one villager down, and here's another, Johnny. Jess? Uh, good morning? Hmm, is it though? Interesting variety of accents in this village, huh? I, well, I guess? He guesses, wonderful. Well, perhaps you can guess that I really don't want to talk such drivel right now. Go, scurry off and leave me be. Wonderful. Another moment with the Philosopher King himself. Why don't you bother Augustine or some other such buffoon? You don't need to ask me twice. We're leaving. Right. And yes, I do need to uh, try talking to every villager at least twice, because that is how I roll. And Fidget sends his treasure here, apparently. Hello. I don't believe I've seen you before. We just came in from the West. Ah, oh, so you're the one everyone is talking about! Everyone's talking? Of course! You're the one who saved Oneida! Uh, my name is Mosca, and I am at your service. If you need anything, just let me know. Say, are you, uh, are you staying long? I don't know. Why do you ask? Well, if you ever find yourself heading east of the village, maybe you could let me know if the roads are safe? Oh, they're far from safe. The town guards mentioned that monsters have been attacking all sides of the village. You're better off staying inside the walls for now. Well, see, here's my problem. I I've been meaning to visit someone in Denham. It's a small village on the edge of Abadi's forest. I imagine this someone is pretty important to you? Well, yeah. See, it's about a girl. 
Ah. Well, surely she's worth the danger. Oh, she is. She definitely is. I just, I, I want to make sure she's okay. With all these monsters around, there's been no word from Denim at all. Mosca, if my travels take me there, I'll let her know you're thinking about her. Oh, thank you so much. You're great. You're really, really great. Wow, I'm so great I leveled up. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, let's go for a balanced build right now and upgrade attack. Always a pleasure to see you guys. Even especially when I just saw you half a minute ago. Ooh, what's this? Treasure chest, and I have no keys. Eh. Okay, it looks like I can't really do anything with this area just yet. So we'll keep exploring. You! You're perfect! Um, thanks? Not you! Listen, do you hear it? Here it's whispers locked within, within the box, my box. I don't hear anything. Well, of course you don't. My box has been lost. Somebody must have stolen it. Perhaps it was that Mosca fellow. He's always averting his gaze from me, like he's hiding something. Probably his distaste for your nuttiness. <laughs> I can hear its whispers coming from below, down, deep down in the earth. If you're ever down there, please, you must find my box. Return it at once. And whatever you do, do not open the box. Okay, Reed. If I find your box underground, I'll be sure to bring it back. Dust, how did you figure out this guy's name? Yeah, Reed. Reed is a fun character. Oh, my box. Where's my box? Do you have my box? I must have it back. Find it, please! Well, hello. Hello. You seem significant. Uh... You're a quiet one. Dust, manners. You'll have to excuse him. He's a bit worn out, saving the village and everything, you know? Yes, I heard something about that. Garnet, this is a very important scene. What are you doing interrupting? Ah, uh, yes. Well, good. Honestly, it doesn't matter. They'll just keep coming back. I... And there's nothing we can do about it. Excuse me. I didn't introduce myself before. My name is Dust, and my companion here is Fidget. Hello again. Dust? Really? Is something wrong? No, I I'm sorry. It's just an interesting name. I'm Ginger. Oh, and about those people you saved. Yes? Well, that was a noble thing to do. So thank you. I don't know about you all, but I'm getting potential love interest vibes from this one. Maybe not soon, but eventually. One, huh? A bit of gratitude might have been nice. What kind of a bratty... Hey, ease off, Dust. She looked like she was pretty depressed. I... I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry, Fidget. I... I don't know what came over me just then. Come on, let's keep moving. Mm-hmm. Another treasure box in here, potentially. Oh, I found a shop. Ah, our famed savior. I had hoped you'd come. Welcome to my humble shop. I can buy healthy food. Pendants. More augments. I don't think this shop has 
much that I don't already have, because I'm seeing a lot of currently equipped here. Simple Pendant might be an upgrade from the Warped Pendant, but I don't know if I want to spend that much gold right now. Ooh, I can buy keys! Eventually, when I get lots more money. Okay, Teleport Stones are relatively cheap, Revival Stones are not. So I better continue trying to not die. And various junk items. Let's go to cell mode so I... Ahem. Let me go to cell mode so that I can make sure they'll stock up on all the extra th goodies I've been finding. Catalog, that's the term. Slimy spike, yum. Okay. So new stuff as of this update are Imp Hide, the thin, dirty hide from an imp. Slimy spike, the hardened bones from a slime creature. Giant Rock, Fragments of Stone from a Giant, and Giant Core, the Hardened Blood of a Giant. Okay then. We may eventually want some of those materials for crafting? Thank you for coming in. I can almost guarantee your satisfaction. Almost. Well, at least he's honest. Another mine entrance, perhaps. Assuming these are mines under the town. And for some reason, there's bunnies hanging out under here. And a note. Ha. So we've got notes on treasure. In ancient times, our greatest possessions and staunchest allies were locked away using powerful magic beyond our comprehension. Who locks away a staunchest ally? The only way to reclaim these lost treasures is to use the magically attuned keys strewn about our world. I only hope there is enough time to free them all. Leap of Faith. They chased, and I ran. Five, maybe six of them, all armed to the teeth and closing in fast. I'd made it to the archers. I'd made it to Archer's Pass, but with an arrow in my leg they caught up with me at that headless statue. Surrounded, desperate, and nowhere else to go. I climbed out to the hand and made a leap of faith. Well, if we ever make it to some place called Archer's Pass, I should look out for a headless statue. Reed's box. Box. That's what it is. It's a box. You can't open it. Don't look in the box. Do not open the box. You can look at the box, but that's it. And only if it helps you bring it back. It fell into a hole near the storage cave in Aurora. No doubt found by whatever lives in the darkness deep below. Hmm. A word of advice. What is this thing? Some kind of cage? Whatever it is, it's making this awful, awful racket. Once in a while, I hear words that sound like fat and beats. What does that even mean? I'll hide it in the caves beneath Aurora until I found the keys I need. I just need to remember to jump as far to the right as I can. Interesting. I wonder if that's from this screen or another one. Because going as far to the right as I can from here just takes me to the upper main level of town. I'll play with it later. I don't have any keys anyway. Hey, you look important. Good day. I'm Mayor Brad. So you're the hero I've been hearing about. It's nothing, really. We're just passing through. No need to be modest, my friend. We can't thank you enough for your help. 
Things have been rough in Aurora of late, so having a true hero in our midst is really boosting morale. So, what's your name, son? Dust. My name is Dust. And some of the villagers I've met, they don't seem quite as pleased as you. Ah, are you talking about the Watchmen? You must understand, hardly a day goes by without some monstrosity attacking our peaceful village. They were simply being cautious. Take my word, I'm sure they meant no ill will. And there was also this girl. Yes, that could only be Ginger. She can be a bit of a handful, but don't pass judgment on her like that. You have no idea what she's gone through this past year. She looked pretty upset about something. But don't concern yourself. We have other matters to discuss. What help could I possibly provide? A few giants in a field seem like the least of your problems. Yet again with the modesty. You're no mere travelers, that much I've gathered. Mineral merchants don't wield blades as impressive as yours, Dust. Please, we really could use the help. I don't know. I'm searching for something myself. Then perhaps we can help each other. If you help our village, I promise I'll do whatever I can to help you. But I can be of no assistance while our village is constantly attacked by these creatures. We suspect their leader is close by, and if you could... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. You're saying those mindless thugs have a leader? Dun, dun, dun! Until recently, they would attack us in small groups. Nothing we couldn't handle. Now, they coordinate attacks on a much larger scale. Hitting the village on both sides, driving our forces apart. I assure you, whatever leads these things is experienced in warfare. What do they want? Our land, I imagine. Just a casual observation, but they don't seem the farming type. Well, whatever it is, it's become a serious problem. If you truly are as capable as I hear... You want us to find their leader? It certainly would cripple their advance. You'll be doing the entire village a great service. How about it, Dusk? Well, I... You feel a conflict of emotions. This is good. I will abide by your decision, Master. I trust you to take the right path. Feeling a conflict of emotions is good. Ara, what do you know that you're not telling us? Helping this village is the right thing to do. But it's more than that. It's almost like... like I know these people. Like I have to help them. I think that strange feeling you've got is a little foreign concept called compassion. I'm proud of you, Dusk. Of course, if you said no, I'd need to bite your face off. <laughs> Charming as always, Fidget. I think you've made a wise decision. All right, Mayor Bram, you've convinced us. We'll do what we can to help stop these attacks. <laughs> That's my boy. The Watchmen reported increased monster activity to the east of our village. So I imagine that's where you should go. But do be careful. Strong as you may be, I've seen many fine warriors lose their lives to these monstrosities. I understand, Mayor. I'll be careful. And I'll be back. We don't know much about their leader, but he has a penchant for fire. I wasn't aware these creatures even knew how to make fire. This one does. There are stories that the creature is actually made of fire. But I imagine it's just an exaggeration. I've got a feeling there's more truth to that than either of us would like. Regardless, there must be some reason those monsters follow him. Please, be careful. Mm-hmm. And thus the main story quest is advanced. You're the outsider. Yeah, that's me. That's great. So you must know your way around out there. Maybe you could do me a favor. Depends on the favor. What is it you need? Well, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Fail, and I'm in charge of keeping our guards well equipped. Oh, so therefore equipment is pretty much your fault. <laughs> <laughs> in so many words, yes. It's not like I enjoy giving them subpar equipment. If I had better materials, I could make better gear. Tell you what, if you could bring me five imp hides, I would gladly buy them off you for more than the shop will offer. I'll keep my eyes open. Time for us to go slaughter a whole bunch of imps. Much appreciated. 
I'll be waiting right here. And once again, I level up from just doing conversations. Please, let me know if you come across those materials. I'll keep my eyes open. Much appreciated. I'll be waiting right here. And that was a particularly useless extra bit of dialogue. Oh, hello. Now I have a map screen. So I can go back and explore the glade. Here's Aurora Village. The mayor of Aurora has asked you to travel east into Abadis Forest and find the leader of the monsters attacking the village. Meanwhile, there's also the Sanctuary, Archer's Pass, which we read about in that note, and Abadis Forest. Well, shall I do a little side questing or directly to our mission objective? Find out next time, and until then, have a good one, everybody.